welcome this is KG tutorials today we are going to talk about companies ledger account lesson 2 please make sure that you have watched lesson 1 I know in the previous video I left you with a question of this amount 97,500 where will this amount be recorded? The answer is, it will be recorded in a debit side of the retained income. But today, we are not going to focus on retained income. We will deal it with it later because we are still working around the appropriation amount so today we are going to focus on SAS income tax but the question is what kind of an account is SAS income tax is it an asset is it an owner's equity or is it a liability the answer is it depends it depends on the balance amount we have for example if we have a debit balance it it will be an asset that means the SAS is owing us we have paid more in the previous financial year then now if we have the credit balance it will be a liability that means the company owe SAS and another thing that you should expect on this account is that we must always have two provisional payment because by companies act that we have talked about in the previous video we are the companies compiled to make two provisional payments so now you already expect two provisional payments there now let's take an example we are required to prepare the SAS income tax for the year ended 29 February 2020. Note that this is a continuation of the previous video. On 1 January 2019, SAS income tax reflected the debit amount. That means this will be recorded on the debit side and is an asset. And that means SAS is owing the company how much? 10,000. Now let's record the amount. We're going to record it on the debit side. As balance brought down of 10,000. Second transaction. The company will make two equal provisional tax payments on 30 June 2019 and on 31st December 2019, totaling 50,000. The first payment must offset the amount due to be refunded by SARS for last year's overpayment. Okay, let's break down this transaction. Note that we have to make the company must make how much? Two, two equal provisional payments, which will total how much? Fifty thousand. Okay, okay. Now le let's break down. We're going to divide that fifty into two equal provisional payments. That means each payment should be 25,000, 25,000 each. But, but, here they say the first payment 
must offset the amount due to be refunded by SARS for the overpayment of last year. We made an overpayment of how much? 10,000. Remember that amount on the balance brought down? Okay, now, on 30 June, on 30 June, let's see what will happen on 30 June. We were supposed to pay 25,000, but we will subtract that 10,000. That means on 30 June, we will pay how much? 15,000. Now, on 31st December, the company will pay 25,000. Why? Because there is no any other amount that the company owes us. Now, the company owes us. So, you pay how much? 25,000. Okay, let's record those amounts. The first payment will be 15,000, the second payment will be 25,000. On 28 February 2020, the net profit for the year after taxation of 28% amounted to 864,000. Let's break down this transaction. Alright, here we are talking about, I mean, profit for the year. Okay, let's just take a piece of, of an income statement. Alright, we have to know that this amount of 864,000, it is just 72% here. Why? Because we were told that income tax is 28%. And then now, according to this, we just have to say profit for the year minus income tax, and it will give us profit after tax, which is 72%. That means profit for the year is 100%. And then now, when we subtract the 28% from the 100%, we will get 72%. That means this amount of 864,000 is just 72%. Okay, now let's work out those missing amount. I'm looking for the hundred percent, so I will take the amount that I have and, so, and multiply it by hundred. Why? Because I'm looking for hundred percent, and then now I will divide it by its value. What is the value of this amount? It's just seventy-two percent. That's why I will divide it by seventy-two. And when I divide, I get 1,200,000. This amount is for the profit for the, for the year. So I will record it under profit for the year. And then, when I subtract profit after tax, I will get 336,000, which will be my income tax. And this amount will be recorded in the appropriation account. So now you already have an idea of an appropriation account before we even talk about it. Now let's go and record those amounts. I record income tax on the credit side as 336,000. This amount must also go to the income tax. So that's how we record it. It will be SAS income tax of 336,000 and then I will close off the account by appropriation account. That amount is will go to the debit side of the appropriation account like as showed uh, previously now my last step is to close off the account I check which side is bigger and I found out that the credit side is bigger then I close off the account that means my balance my balance carried down will be on the debit side so now I record it on the debit side now when I say I mean, 336,000, I subtract 10,000, I subtract 15,000, I subtract 25,000. I will get how much? 286,000. And this amount should be brought down. That means we'll be opening up with this amount in the next financial year. So, this is basically 
of how we do 